you need to understand and realize that you are bad. You are bad in creating videos. Like really, accept the truth, accept the reality, because it would only move you further away if you understand that you are not good in this skill, because you simply didn't practice it yet. You need to realize and think what things have you done wrong and look at your videos from the viewer point to understand and analyze your mistakes. So your identity right now is a YouTuber, but it is starting YouTuber. You're not going to be the ideal. You wouldn't have the best lights and the best sound quality and the best microphone. Believe me, I know how it is. I've started in the same way. I recently been on a trip in the mountains. I came back from it and uh, it was really nice trip. I was there with my friends, really well planned. And I was waiting for it a long time just to attend it and be there with them. Essentially, there was, was 25 people with us and uh, six of them I knew. So imagine how it would feel to wake up day in and day out with new people straight into your face and basically meeting them for the first time in this new environment that reconnected me from the outside world. I basically gave my phone into the box and said to myself that I wouldn't use it. For the 17 days, it would be like my dopamine detox. And I came back really happy. And you may wonder, wait, but how the hell you've been uploading the videos all the time? So I upload them every other day. And uh, for now, I uploaded nine videos while well, it was being there on my trip. How did I do this? Well, simply, I basically scheduled them. I worked hard before it. I made nine videos probably in one month, in one month mode. I committed to my goals and said that I will record video every day, even though I was doing it every other day. So I basically put myself on the higher acceleration and get more work done than you do in one week. Nah, in one. <laughs> Sorry, in one, in one month, which is basically like, maybe you create three videos per week. And I did it one video a day, simple. I really put my soul into it and uh, it was hard by the last ones. And, uh, you know, this video are fully productive. They are fully edited scripted and recorded in the way that I was doing it before. Now I'm changing my video script and how my video goes a little bit. So now you see there is not many edits and there are probably none of them. <laughs> and uh, the thing that I want to tell is that I know how to create the videos. I did it and I did it even with the urgency and scarcity to me and with big deadline with this point that would say to me okay you've achieved it you got this you uploaded them so now you can chill so I'm basically saying this for you so you can understand that I know how to put the work in and I know things about YouTube and I've been there for a year so you can listen to me so Let's come back to a hiking story with new people. I met them and I wasn't like speaking to them at first with all of them because they were like random 20 people that I didn't knew. There was basically friends of my friends and then friends of my friends' friends. So many people. And they were basically my age. We went to the mountains 
And while these two were doing this, I could meet every one of them in one day because we had like, you know, round table and we said, hello, my name is this and I'm this years old and uh, I'm interested in this and that and I'm expecting from this trip to get this. But I didn't, like I, I've said it, everybody did. I didn't remember like everybody's name and I didn't start to speak with them directly. So meeting every each of them because I wouldn't basically know and remember all of the names and all of the faces that I would meet at the first day. So this same rule could apply to you and to your recordings. This is how I started. I started with simply putting the camera on onto the thing that would hold it and hitting the record button. No script, no editing, nothing. Basically just me talking. And also I remember I didn't start with scripting for long periods of time. I was just coming out of something that comes to my brain and I was just transferring into camera. So basically transferring my thoughts into the reality, my voice into the camera recordings and then uploading it to YouTube for sure. So I want you to use the same rule and speak to people like I did. I started to speak to two new persons a day. I didn't do to any of them at one day, but I do like two new persons a day. And I met them, maybe someday I would like speak to more people, but I wouldn't meet them that much. And other day I would like speak to them more. And you know, this atmosphere, the thing that we were in the mountains, they just connect each other. This is just a social activity that bring us together and give us the opportunity to speak. So this is what I've used. And this is a good point. I wasn't really thinking to tell you this, but the new people are really important to analyze and understand. And how I did it is basically I came up to them in this brain dead way and I said, Hello, my name is Tom. I know her and I know that she is your friend. So what's your name? Or something like this, something in this kind. I wasn't overthinking and trying to come up with some idea. I just was meeting them. You know, this is simple things, but these things are fundamentals. And this is what you need as a starting YouTuber, the fundamentals, the thing that will boost your first videos into your channel. So the point of it is to break the ice. If you never created a one video ever and upload it to YouTube, do it. This is your actionable step right now is to open your camera. Don't overthinking, don't go to, to any different things, to many, many videos that will help you create them, how to boost your views. Even though you didn't upload the first video, even though you didn't meet the first person, you already try to meet the second one or the third. Don't go to step three and four when you don't even unlock the first step, like in the video games, you know, there is levels. So you got level one, two, three, and you move through the levels and you unlock them by doing the level one. So the level one for you right now is to record this video. Do not overthink and just hit the button and tell, hello, my name is and your name. Uh, essentially, my name is Tommy, if you are interested in, and this is how they call me there. <laughs> but you need to understand that from the point of me scheduling my videos, I prepared for it. I would not go to this trip if I wouldn't have the pool of the videos that would help me, that would not basically would be my work. So if I wouldn't prepare to go to this trip in the first place, then I wouldn't get this trip as a good thing. And I wouldn't treat this as a basically break from the world, from the destruction, but as the something that I need to relieve so that I could go back to work. So there is the fine line. It's not really the point for you but it's just my observations that I thought about now. 
The thing was breaking the ice. Let me describe it more. What do you do? You open the camera. You see this red button and then you hit it. And after you hit it, you put the camera on something like the table or something in your house that would hold it. Maybe you have a tripod from somewhere when you bought it or a selfie stick and you could record in selfie stick. Probably it's not the best way. The best way for me is for talking heads is just to put in the uh, static thing that would not move, that would just record you and uh, it would not interrupt the viewer from like, random moves. You know, you are not actionable YouTuber probably if you watch me. And to break the ice, it's also the things that would probably help the starting YouTubers as three components is intro, is outro and is points, like the main points of the video, the topic basically. So the intro thing is when you say, hello, my name is Tom and I'm educational YouTuber that helps others starting YouTubers to overcome camera anxiety problems. This is your intro introduction of yours. You could say, hello, my name is Matthew and I've done sky, whatever, <laughs> sorry, I, I didn't thought about it. Let's say I've done running marathons for three years and now you have some kind of story about you. Now the people resonate with it, but also it also gives you an opportunity to think and start your video with something like this, with the text that you already know. And it gives you a easier way to talk to camera just by simply know what to say first. You start the thing and then you just compound it. You say the first words and then the other words just go through, you know, like I'm doing right now. I scripted this video, but I didn't script it word into word. I just say my thoughts. And because I started from the point of telling you about breaking the ice, I now speak about intros and other things. You see how it works. Not really that hard. So you can create some kind of a line, an opener. Don't do the, hello friends, in today's video we're gonna do this and that. No, this is, this is outdated. This is really old because when they click on your video from your title, they already know what you would speak about, so don't do this. But, and also like, hello, my friends, it's not your friends, speak to somebody else, to somebody like specific person, you, like I'm doing it right now, to you. Essentially, the intro thing is not necessary, but like I said, the first words matters, so you could do the text of it. You can even write down, like me, I do the story thing at the first, like I did today. I started my video with the story about me hiking with my friends in the camp and uh, I wrote it down word into word. So I basically could read from it. I didn't, but it's important to have the foundation to start the intro. This will just boost your videos. Now, Next thing is topic. The topic of your video is basically your title. So it's important to speak and think about your title before you record the videos. Because if you would just show up and you would say, uh, I don't know what this video is about, but I will still record it and you will title it. This video about something that I don't know about what. <laughs> Weird. But if you know that, okay, this is my introduction video, I will title it like, hi, my name is Tom, and then you would just show up and you would say, hello, my name is Tom, I do this, and I help starting YouTubers. Simple. You have the topic, you have the thing to speak about. If you know that your video is about top five tips, how to help <laughs> your cats to overcome scarcity of the weather, and you start this video with your story or with your like introduction. Hello, my name is Matthew and I'm 
working with cats for 10 years and it was a good experience and I'm training them how to overcome this problem. And then you go, the first tip to your helping your cat to overcome the anxiety of the weather is to put him into the place where it's cozy and warm or some shit like this. I don't know. I don't know about cats that much. But you see the point. You have the thing to speak about because you choose the topic of the video. So really spend most of your time thinking about the topic and the title and uh, do it before the video so that you have the context to speak about. Because I've tried the thing when I just came to a place where I wanted to record and when I had a deadline and when I needed to, and I thought, okay, I would put my camera on and just speak about something that happened in my day-to-day -day or some shit that comes to my mind, basically. And I did, and it looks like I basically made a diary. It doesn't make sense. It's not about my niche. It's just what I have been doing throughout my day. So I didn't upload it. I'll probably upload it into my second channel, but you see the point. Okay, the outro is basically the same. I have the quote one, don't be nice, be good. See you in the next one, well, bang. This is my outro. And uh, the quote is basically something that means other things so that it, it does make contents. It's probably, you know, Hamza and the guy that is self-improvement king, <laughs> the uh, leader of cult, but he has his own quote, which is do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. And I know him from this quote. And you can do like, so my name is Tom and I'll see you in the next one. Like something simple. The same thing with intro and outro. You just do it brain that way just to end and start the video so that you could say something in matter. Now, breaking dice is good. And let's say you already made your first video. You already did it. So use the thing that would improve your intro and outro and your topic of the video. So basically focus on it right now. Your actionable step for those that didn't do it, that didn't, sorry, that did record the video, but didn't thought about their intro and their outro and their topic of the video that much that focused only on just hitting the button, like I said to you. If you record three videos, you could probably think about it if you have free time. If you don't, just continue whatever you do. But you would probably don't watch this video if you would not struggle with your camera. So basically the thing that I've realized from this trip is to start is to have a line, an opener to just tell the things to other people and just to meet them at first time. Now, the second thing that I realized is that the eye contact, the eye contact with girls is so powerful, bro. If you would see me there, how do I look at them? This is crazy, bro. I can't describe you how powerful it is. I wasn't saying any words. Essentially, my challenge of this trip was to talk less and uh yeah not so full, full of my stupidity you know the best is the best like the advice to how to get more girls is to speak less <laughs> not say stupid stuff and uh i was just looking them directly into the eyes and it was so like connecting i was seeing their soul and it also kind of romantic in some way so uh yeah to girls that I looked in the eyes, like they were like nothing for me. So it works. Now the same thing came to a recording videos and it actually the technique that I called lens contact because you don't have eyes in it. So you just look at the lens directly. Some phones have, if you record on the selfie camera that you like can see yourself. And if you look at yourself, it's bad because later, like right now I will look at myself in the monitor and you see I'm not looking directly into you. So it's good to focus on the one point and use the eye contact as in real life, kind of in between of 80 and 70% to look at the camera. Sometimes don't look at it, 
just don't stare at it like a weirdo. But look at the lens. This is important. If you're starting out, you need to understand that you just watch your video. If you see that you look at the camera, that's good. If you don't, then try to focus on just change your eyes to look at the one thing, which is the lens, because this is how the viewer see you. It's basically when you see yourself and you look at yourself, you look at your eyes, like not, not like in the mirror, let's say, or if you look at this beautiful girl, like I said, and you look at her and you just, just don't say anything and you just look at her eyes. Then it kind of like connects you. So the same with viewers and you, uh, they would basically benefit more if you would look at them. Just don't be weird and look at the different, like the angles you sometimes see from the Iman Gaji videos, let's say. He changed the angle from this to this, but he also have like the main point there. So if you have one camera, you probably does like I do. You just look at the lens all the time and that's it. Basically the simple tip, just focus on the contact with the lens. Now, why is important? Because I did more over 170 videos and I know this problem. In some videos, the first one specifically, I had this problem that I was like, boom, like I essentially the camera was there while I was thinking I was going through the place like this. It's good to think sometimes to go through this and this, but you know, it's not like I'm recording it for you, but I'm recording it for myself. So don't move around. Don't look at the monitor of yours or use selfie camera. Use the main camera so that you can see yourself. It also improves your quality. But the thing with it is that you need to understand that the eyes, the lens contact is important and use it. Like I said, I did more over 170 videos and I know how it feels when you look at the footage and you don't look at the camera. And uh, basically, it teached me a lot. And uh, the thing that I would like you to teach is the same, is how to overcome the camera anxiety so that you can basically post three times per week consistently. This is what I do in my life. And my authority into it is my videos that I've created. I'm really good at it. I'm really consistent. I really believe that if I would create the next channel and I would have zero views, zero subscribers, I still would be consistent and I would start from posting it frequently. And with my knowledge that I have right now, I would probably boost myself even more. As you see, I'm trying the new scripting right now. No editing. Let's see how it goes. More longer videos. So probably it could benefit you more as you can see me more real, not edited, not cut it. Sometimes I do mistakes, but it's good. So you get more value just by watching it more. And for sure, hundred percent, if you're like scrolling comments, even though I don't have them, or you like scrolling the sidebar, you would probably be, don't be there. But if you watch it in the full screen, it shows that you are the sophisticated and smart young man that you have the attention span better than 99% of the people do. So from this story, the last and one thing I want you to tell is the definition, the biggest hack, the craziest thing in recording videos and speaking into camera the thing that will improve it by 100% and you don't even need to put the effort into it and you don't even need to learn something, focus on the icons, like blah, blah, blah. doesn't matter. The one and the most important thing is getting outside more, is to getting yourself out of your house in the place where you are right now, where you're staying in when you're looking at your computer. And if you say, yes, I'm doing this, I'm going to the school every day, or I'm going to the school and the gym, this is crazy, boom, no. I would tell you this, that it would not improve your speaking skills that much as the social activities, as the social events. I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, this is the key to your speaking. Just by speaking to others, boom. 
So get outside more because the social self-improvement autists, as they call them, they sit at their house and you may be one of them. You just sit there every single day, plan some activities, open your schedule, oh, sorry, schedule it, open your calendar and see when you have the free time and put something into it as the highlight of your week. Just plan it with your friends. If you don't have friends, go to the gym and say, bunch of us go to this mountain to hike. Would you like to join? And even though you don't have anyone, just by saying it, bunch of us, you would get the people that would join you. And simply because you would be in this environment of these people, you would simply, by the nature, improve your speaking skills. You would speak to them and you will speak better to camera. How do I know this? I've tried this two days ago. I came back from my trip. Even though the language that we were speaking was not English, but I still think, I feel like I improved it. Like, I know how to speak better. Essentially, I know how to speak less. Because this was the point, the challenge for me, for my trip. And the one that important thing that I learned is ignore stuff. Ignoring stuff, especially from women, when they say something stupid, is really freaking cool. It really doesn't, when you don't think about it, you've heard something from someone. Yeah, it's not the recording advice, sorry, but it may help you into life. When you heard something stupid, some joke, you don't need specifically to answer to it, to say something about it. This is kind of like a test for you. And when you ignore it, you first of all don't spend your energy and free, uh, free your mind from stupid things, stupid thoughts. And this, then you just like, you show that you over it, that you have more power. So getting outside, please. This is probably the most important actionable step from this video, because this is basically the key. Because all of that thing reminded me, I get them from my story, these teachings that is basically was giving to me. Oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> the dish is done. I'm gonna eat in five minutes. But I need to end this now. It's basically from the story, the teachings, from the thing that I came to just to have fun and I've essentially learned from it in the result. So if you want to speak to me, maybe you can join my Discord community. I recently launched it and you can chat, ask me some questions there and I'll see you there. Don't realize be good in the next one. Wabank. <laughs>